This exhibition is Multiple Occupancy, Eleanor Anton's Selves, here at the Wallach Art Gallery at Columbia University. Eleanor Anton is an extremely important conceptual artist working since the 60s in photography, video, film, performance, writing, painting, sculpting, drawing, um, many media. And this is the first time that her major selves or characters that she's inhabited um, over, say, the past 30 years have been brought together in one exhibition in a homecoming here in New York. One of the reasons that I wanted to organize multiple occupancy Eleanor Anton selves around this body of work is that I think, in particular at this moment, um, a lot of artists are looking back to the issues that are at the core of the selves, namely um, plays with history, archival slippage, transformation, destabilizing identity. I think that those issues are at the core of the work of some of the most interesting young and emerging artists of our time. Um, at the core of herself is also this idea or this question, what happens when you present one way and identify differently? And I think that that, um, that question is pervasive throughout the work in this show, but that's a question that resonates for so many different kinds of people and has been taken up and recast and reinterpreted again and again and again. I very much enjoyed working with Emily Liebert, my curator, but I was actually a little nervous because um, I've, all the years I've worked, this is a body of the work, and I didn't know how by itself it would look, but when I saw it, I was really and truly delighted with the way it looked. I think it's very, very beautiful, it's clear, you can um, follow a kind of trajectory um, between the selves. I think he did a cool job of recreating Antonova's set yeah. from uh, Recollections of My Life with Diaghilev. In terms of which pieces to, to choose we wanted to, it required thinking about who the characters are at their essence. For example, choosing a work that's called Caught in the Act from the first room, um, we see her first female self, the ballerina, and the ballerina has mastered the art of the pose, but she can't dance in motion. And this piece, Caught in the Act from 1973, exposes that in this really sort of um, funny and, um, and also moving, sort of sad way. We have these photographs that show the ballerina holding her pose very elegantly, and then it's accompanied by a video which reveals that in order to um, take those photographs, the ballerina needs somebody to hand her a stick she holds the stick, when, and then when she gets her balance, she lets go of the stick, the photographer shoots the, the photograph, and then she falls down. Um, so the video, you know, in a sense, catches the ballerina in the act. So that really highlights the sort of, um, you know, the sort of patheticness, in a sense, of this ballerina. So there is a lot of comedy, a lot of pathos, and a lot of dealing with political and social issues, and aesthetic issues of you know, of the times I live in. The Wallach prides itself on being able to make new and exciting publications for the projects that they work on. In this case, we're able to do a very interesting new publication adding to the discourse on Eleanor Anton, including a hilarious interview with Emily and Eleanor. We were also able, with this exhibition, to do extremely exciting live public programming with our partner at School of the Arts here at Columbia University, but also, um, around Performa, the performance art festival, we were able to have Eleanor perform um, and also be in conversation with other younger artists who look very much to her work today.